from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The body of a missing Sarasota teen, Jabez Span, has been found. Deputy say a worker found the skeletal remains of Span that matches dental records. They're not sure how long his remains were in that location in Manatee County. Span went missing back in 2017 after reports say he witnessed a murder. Thanks to a tip to troopers, Florida Highway Patrol arrests a hit and run suspect in Pasco County. Troopers found the car in question at home on Woodcock Drive in Newport Ritchie and arrested Symphone Fozzi. FHP says John Mowry was riding his bike down US 19 on Saturday when a driver hit him and left. Mowry did not survive the crash. Pasco County firefighters forced to cut off power to one part of the fairgrounds after a transformer blows and catches on fire. There it is. Luckily, Pasco County Fire Rescue says it was isolated and nobody was hurt. No word on what caused that generator to blow. The Hillsborough County School Board votes not to allow teachers to carry guns inside the classroom. A Senate bill expands a law passed after the Parkland school shooting, allowing certain school employees to be armed. But Hillsborough County is opting out, believing it will not make students safer. And now here's Dennis with your forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? More heat, more humidity. Record highs today hit 90 degrees in Winter Haven. And I think we're going to be every bit as warm on Wednesday, Thursday, really right through the weekend. Rain chance is extremely slim. Maybe a 10% chance of a couple of inland showers. A little bit better chance for the middle of next week. Thank you, Dennis. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember, you can always download the free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.